Dear Western leaders, we know that Russia is your fiercest foe. You are quite aggressive about their advances in Ukraine and you are desperate enough to find a solution to your energy problems. However, Russia clearly suffered a serious setback when its most crucial pipelines were damaged a few days ago. We assume that you shared our amazement at this distressing event and have guessed who was behind the Nord Stream sabotage as well. But if Russia's pipeline is broken, why in the world is the US refusing to let Russia inspect its own property? This is quite odd. Hello and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Piyush. Let's begin. The West is not allowing Russia to inspect its own property. According to Reuters, Kremlin has advised European nations that Russia needs to be part of investigations into explosions in the two Nord Stream gas pipelines under the Baltic Sea. Reportedly, Dmitry Peskov, the official spokesperson of the Kremlin, has stressed that the West is purposefully not allowing Russia to be a part of the investigation. Peskov said, so far from these news conferences which took place in Denmark and Sweden, we've heard disturbing statements that any cooperation with Russian side is ruled out. Furthermore, he added, we obviously will be waiting for some clarification on that as we believe that definitely participation of the Russian side in examining the damaged area and investigating what happened should be mandatory. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Vashinin was quoted by Russian agencies as saying there should be an investigation, naturally with participation of Russia. Four leaks were discovered last week on the Nord Stream pipelines connecting Russia to Germany, raising political tensions already sky high since the Kremlin sent troops to Ukraine in February. You see, Sweden has blocked off the area around the pipelines pending an investigation, whereas European nations and NATO are looking to investigate the matter and figure out who actually sabotaged the crucial pipelines. Russia is definitely not a part of the investigation, but the suspect behind the Nord Stream sabotage is definitely looking to be a part of the investigation. Yes, the blue-eyed boy and the Grand Master of the West, the United States, wants to take part in the investigation. According to CNN, the US is considering offering NATO allies Denmark and Sweden to use its most advanced underwater sound reading capabilities to analyze audio recordings from around the time of the Nord Stream Pipeline's apparent sabotage. The US Navy is pitching that its unique technology could be used to record unique underwater sounds. But Russian President Vladimir Putin is criticizing the participation of the United States. Reportedly, Putin blamed the US and its allies for the leaks. To be very honest, even the recent behavior of the US officials suggests that US had some cunning business in sabotaging the Nord Stream pipelines. Now, why the US? Firstly, sabotaging such big pipelines is no easy task. It definitely requires military strength. Notably, the US was active in the waters where Nord Stream pipelines got ruptured. According to Flight Radar 24 data, the US Navy's Sikorsky MH-60R Seahawk helicopter spent hours hovering above the exact location of the ruptured pipelines between September 1 to 3rd. Furthermore, the US is enthusiastic and it looks at the sabotage of Nord Stream pipeline as a tremendous opportunity. Furthermore, making Europe hungry for energy is undoubtedly benefiting the US. During the first five months of this year, the European Union and the United Kingdom received almost 71% of United States LNG shipments. Steel, fertilizer and other European economic input producers in Europe are also relocating to the United States. There is no justification for Russia to destroy its own assets, in this case the Nord Stream pipelines. The US, however, has an endless list of justifications. Undoubtedly, the United States had a hand in undermining the Nord Stream pipelines and it is currently working behind the scenes to twist the investigation of the pipeline leakage. NATO partners are planning a fresh method to put the blame on Russia for everything they did. 